Hey everyone, Sam from United People's TV here after a little mini hiatus with the East break. Hope everyone had a good bank holiday weekend, but we're here ahead of the Everton game, getting back into United 180, all your latest news. And let's get straight to it. The really, really good news today is that Luke Shaw might be set for a return to Manchester United training next week. Um, it's uh, the Telegraph reporting that within the next 7 to 10 days he could return to first team training um, and really step up his recovery from injury. That's incredible news. That has been, you know, it's been quite a long time. I think about seven months has it been since he did break his leg away at PSV Eindhoven. And it's been a long, long road of recovery for Luke Shaw. But just having him back in first team training will be a huge morale boost for him personally. That's the main thing. Uh, and for United fans as well, we all can't wait to see Luke Shaw back in action. Because let's be honest, his absence has sort of mirrored, I, I feel like it's mirrored the decline we've had this season. Uh, at the start of the year, he was one of our most promising performers. We had Darmian at right back doing excellently. We had Luke Shaw on left back doing really well with Memphis Depay in a partnership. And it looked like that was going to be a nice one that was going to last the season. Unfortunately, that got cut short. Memphis has never recovered. I think, um, I just, I feel he, he's lost a bit without Shaw. I think that partnership hopefully will come back next season. Really looking forward to seeing it. But the question I want you to answer below do you want Luke Shaw to come back before the end of the season or just to take the rest of the year off, miss the Euros, have the pre-season and really come back? Let me know in the comments below. We might actually do a debate video on this because I think it's quite an interesting topic uh, and it's quite split. Uh, we did a poll on Twitter, over 600 responses we had. It's like 58, 42. I'm not sure. I won't tell you which way it went, but it's very, very close. Uh, and last night was all the internationals. We had Chris Morning, who played uh, heart defence against Netherlands, obviously in a 2-1 loss. Uh, you had Daly Blind, who played very well for Holland uh, at centre-back again. I don't know how he seems to do it, but he hasn't had a rest and he seems to be a little bit sharper than he had been in previous weeks. Memphis Depay also played um, a pretty typical Memphis performance. Uh, it wasn't com he, didn't, he never really applies himself fully. You know, if there's a ball 50 yards away, he'll jog to it. He, never, he, he sprints occasionally, but he doesn't always have that drive to do that for the full 90 minutes. And I think that's kind of holding him back a little bit. Anthony Martial had a very quiet game for France, only played 45 minutes, and it was Antoine Griezmann who took the headlines, got two assists uh, in their win over Russia. Uh, who else played? Marouane Fellaini, he played 80 minutes for Belgium, didn't really do anything. I'm not going to say much else about Fellaini. Uh, Matteo Darmian had a bit of a night to forget, not that he played terribly, but Italy lost 4-1 to Germany, and Buffon doesn't normally concede four goals, which kind of says a lot. So Germany playing very well there. Uh, I mean, overall, international break. Schwansteiger's injury, the worst part of it. Uh, there's not really much more to say about that. There's still no confirmation on how severe it will be, and maybe we'll get that confirmation from Louis van Gaal on Friday. But it's not good. Uh, that is pretty much the only injury concern we've had. with Paddy Bettner playing a couple of games in midfield for Northern Ireland. Um, but yeah, the major news... Shaw should be returning to injury next. Sorry, returning to training next week. Big boost, uh, and pretty much all the players return from international break unscathed. Not all of them, but most. That's it for today's United 180. Let me know your comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy.